Shalom, shalom, shalom. Before I get started, I want to start by giving all praises and glory to Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shah, Bashem, Rokar, Kadash. Secondly, want to give double honors to the elders, apostles, the great millstone who rule well. And third, want to give salutations to all the occupants of the hopeful elect that laboring and pushing forth this word and this truth and righteous sincerity throughout the four corners. Shalom, shalom, shalom. Brother Hakar from GMS South Carolina Millions. I'm coming back to the video. And this right here just caught my attention. You know what I'm saying? Uh, this uh, female here, you know, I'm about to play, uh, about to hit the play button in a minute. Uh, this right here is Malika Andrews. You know what I'm saying? Hold on for a minute here. I think I always want to act stupid here. Hold on, schlock, y'all. Here we go, here we go, here we go. All right, all right, we back at it. Okay. Now, this right here, Malika Andrews right here. She's supposed to be like the head anchor of uh, the, uh, the NBA NBA Today or whatever. You know what I'm saying? A little show on ESPN. So, you know, she got like a little high position. So, she's like one of the big uh, figureheads over there at ESPN uh, pertaining to the um, NBA Today. She got, you know what I'm saying? She got her own little show or whatever. Uh, of course, you know what I'm saying? You know, she's a, a feminist, all right? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? At the end of the day. Um, you know, she's, you know, just like the typical nigga woman, proud as hell, uh, thinks she can do what the hell she want to do with her body. As y'all can see the title, uh, on the, um, the conversation or her take when she was covering the Roe versus Wade decision. And you can see her about to have a mental breakdown because, you know, she feel like her rights have been taken away as a woman, rather than not, you know, to take a life at the end of the day, man. Oh, you know what I'm saying? Of a child, man. All right, and that's why I'm probably gonna label this video, uh, baby, uh, baby lives matter. <laughs> you know, you got your black lives matter, you got your blue lives matter, your so-called white lives matter. Hey, man, baby lives matter, man. <laughs> Pertaining to the role and versus Wade, uh, mm -hmm. overturn. You know what I'm saying that uh, Supreme Court did a couple of uh, weeks ago. All right, you know, but uh, just check out her whole continence, man. You know what I'm saying? This bitch is actually about to fucking cry. I think this right here was during the time of uh, the NBA draft. And you know what I'm saying? And she, uh, it was like breaking news and she interrupted the NBA draft to bring in that damn coverage. You know what I'm saying? Of, you know, uh, of the Roe versus Wade decision. And just like I said, man, you know, when I hit that play button, man, look at her continence, man. You know what I'm saying? You know, like, you know, when, you know what I'm saying? When, when Elders Apostles and Elder Bishops on down us a great millstone, when we say, uh, two thirds majority are gonna be women. You see why now? Cause more women on this earth than men to start off with. But just the wickedness of these goddamn women, man, has no limit. At the end of the day, man, they're so fucking selfish, so self entitled. At the end of the day, man, you know what I'm saying? They think they are above reproach, man. But just look at the pride and, and of this damn demon. You know what I'm saying? And, and which we know with this Roe versus Wade, it's just a domino effect what Esau is doing, because Esau don't give a damn about no babies, all right? But it's a domino effect of Esau pretty much trying to take all of your rights away from you, man, all right? But anyway, you know what I'm saying? Like I say, one thing leads to another at the end of the day. You know, uh, like Scripture said, we're not ignorant of Satan devices. Ultimately, you know what I'm saying? You know, this Roe versus Wade is just a, another prelude, man, to the MOTB. We're taking your right away from you to not accept the MOTB, to the C, to the H, to the I, to the P, man. So we, we we know what the end games are, man, at the end of the day. But anyway, I'm about to hit this play button here. Yesterday, the sports world celebrated the 50th anniversary of Title IX, which bans discrimination based on gender and education, including sports. But today, the Supreme Court overturned Roe versus Wade, declaring that the constitutional right to abortion upheld for nearly a half century, no longer exists. In less than 24 hours, we celebrated equal rights for women, and now we react to women's reproductive rights being taken away. Sue Bird tweeted gutted in response to the news, and LeBron James retweeted former President Barack Obama, including this. Today, the Supreme Court not only reversed nearly 50 years of precedent it relegated the most intensely personal decision someone can make to the whims of politicians, attacking the essential freedoms of millions of Americans. Josh Hart wrote to the women in this country, I'm sorry. 
Man, Josh Howard, man, sit your sorry behind up, man. You ain't did nothing all NBA season. Talking about making a comment, I'm sorry. Nigga, you are sorry. You a sorry NBA player, man. Oh, wicked nigga. Oh, beta male nigga. Got your head up the woman ass, man. All right? If, 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 if you know, what if your mother would abort your ass, nigga, you wouldn't be here. You, you big dummy, my red, my red fox voice, you big dummy. Oh, evil dummy. He's an evil dummy. All right. The Seattle Storm tweeted in part, people have won the freedom to buy guns with impunity while women have lost the freedom to decide their own future. And that, and you know what? That, that's just a damn devil for you, man. Buying guns and taking a uh, life, those, to those totally two different things at the end of the day or whatnot, man. And, you know, let's go ahead and go into the scripture. We ain't got to do some more of that madness right there. But in Babylon, this is what, this is what they do, man. All right? Then, you know, you, you heard a... In a comment, yeah, you know, we fight for women's rights, women to be equal. Man, you how about your mouth shut? About to put everything back in order, man. At the end of the day, for you proud ass freaking damn women, man. That's why, you know what I'm saying? We, you know, something else apostles, great millstone on down, man. That's why, bro, we say elf the two thirds, man. Elf the damn two thirds, man. The damn nigga woman, she's responsible for taking majority of uh, half the damn nation killing half the damn nation man with, with goddamn abortion at the end of the goddamn day and you see how malika you see how malika andrew see how she was fucking crying that bitch looked like she had a couple of abortions in her lifetime man i i i'm willing to you know what i'm saying bet some goddamn money she probably done had a couple of abortions and whatnot man that bitch was got about to goddamn break down about to have a mental breakdown on air man all right and of course, you have wicked ass LeBron James, man. Ain't no telling how many women he paid to have abortion or whatnot, man. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? O over his lifetime, man. But anyway, let's get uh, let's get Isaiah, man, five and twenty, man. It says woe, and woe means destruction, man. Uh, to them that call evil good and good evil, and that's what they do. That that, that that's America's favorite pastime, man. All right, you know what I'm saying? Celebrate wickedness, man. And here it is. You have people. Majority these damn women in the uproar, man, over they feel the right, you know what I'm saying? They have the right to, to kill, the, you know what I'm saying? The unborn child, man. All right, you know, they, they have a right to take a life at the end of the day. All right, you know, if you don't, if you don't, um, if you don't want no damn kids, man, the, the, you know, it's in the simple solution keep your fucking legs closed, man. Keep your goddamn legs closed at the end of the damn day, man. That'll solve that problem. But now, nah, y'all want to be hoes, you want to be damn sluts. You know what I'm saying? You want to take the, the pill after. You want to take the plan B. You know what I'm saying? All of the birth controls and all that damn madness and what have you. And then if you get pregnant, you know what I'm saying? You better abort the damn child. All right. Taking the life. You killing the life, man. Like, like I say, man, I ain't a bunch of murderers. Like I say, this video, you know what I'm saying? I'm entitled. It, you know what I'm saying? I'm entitled this video. Hey, baby lives matter, man. All right. But going back, woe to them that call evil good and good evil, man. Because... You know, when you speak out against it, they'll say you wicked, man. They, they'll say you speaking, you speaking out against our rights. We have the right to do what we want to do with our bodies, but they don't care what the Lord said. How about your mouth? I said be fruitful and multiply. How can you be fruitful and multiply? And that's a man and a woman, okay, being together, okay. That's what you. How, that's the order of things, man. All right, you know, and and like how about your mouth? I said going all the way back in Genesis, man. You know what I'm saying? You know, a man supposed, to, I mean, a man and a woman, they're supposed to be fruitful and multiply, man. All right, not. You know what I'm saying? Abort a child. And then, too, when these damn women get abortions, the man right is totally taken away. You, you know what I'm saying? Because the man don't have no say-so on whether the woman can have an abortion or not. And that's his seed, man. How the hell are you going to kill a man's seed without his consent at the end of the day? Showing you the wickedness of Babylon at the end of the goddamn day, man. All right? That's why this place is going to be destroyed, man, through the power of your how about your mouth And we can't freaking wait, man. All right? And it says, and light for darkness and put bitter for sweet. And sweet for bitter, man. All right, and that and and that and, and that what happened, man. And and and, and that's what that what happened. That what take place here in goddamn America, man. Every goddamn day, man. This sinful ass kingdom right here, man. All right, and you got wicked ass Jake out here, man. Just overseeing the the wickedness of the damn devil, man. All right. This is uh Exodus uh twenty, and um thirteen. Exodus twenty and thirteen. Thou shall not kill, man. And that's exactly what you're doing, man. All right. When you aborting a child. All right. You're killing and you're taking a life at the end of the goddamn day, man. But, you know, these women want to justify it for their own self self selfishness. Yeah, they self they selfishness, man. Selfishness, man. They selfish. They very selfish, man. I can't even say the word. They very selfish, man. And entitled. 
as fucking wicked ass fucking women, man, and want to justify the wickedness. This is my body. This is my body. I can do what I want to do with my body. Like scripture say, he that destroys temple, he shall I destroy at the end of the day, man. All right. When you taking a life and, and killing a life, that's what the fuck you doing, destroying your temple. And that's why a lot of these helpfuls, man, <laughs> these damn helpfuls, man. All right. You damn look mutts, these little, little fucking cum buckets, man. That's why when they ready, when you know they get in their damn thirties, man. All right, you know when they ready to, if they they find the so called man of their dreams, and then they wanna go ahead and they wanna uh, have the man child. All right, they gonna have about numerous abortions in their teens, up up teens and twenties and shit. Not in their damn thirties and and and, a, and a time ticking down on their ass. Now they wanna have a uh, you know they wanna carry the man seed then, but then a lot of them, they, you know what I'm saying? They can't, you know what I'm saying? They can't, uh, they can't carry no man seed because you know how about your mouth shot? Curse they got their going wound at the end of the day. They has become barren, man. Mm. Where they where they're unable to bring forth a child, man. All right, you know. Now now they looking stupid as hell, man. All right, you know you look like a, a Gabrielle Union, man. Look how many times Gabrielle Union that they done had abortions, man. In her lifetime, her, that's that ain't but a fucking straight up demon, man. All right, you, you you don't think she wanted to have and carry Dwayne Wade? See, no, nah, she was unable to, cause that bitch unable to get pregnant. Most I cursed that bitch, bro. And it says going back to Exodus twenty and thirteen, thou shalt not kill. And that and that, that's what they, and what happens here, man. And it's sinful ass kingdom, man. This wicked ass kingdom, man. You know what I'm saying? And like I said, Esau has his own agenda at the end of the damn day, man. All right, it wasn't about Esau. You know what I'm saying? He had a he had epiphanies and he felt like it was wrong. You know what I'm saying? Be, you know, to be killing and, and killing a child, you know what I'm saying? And trying to save a, a child's life. Esau don't give a damn about no damn kids, man. He, ultimately, man, we already know what the end games Esau are trying to pull. And that's, you know, with MOTB, trying to take away all of your goddamn rights. You know what I'm saying? All the way, you, all of your constitutional rights, man. All right? You know, you don't have any rights and no say so, especially when it's devil mandate, you know what I'm saying? The, the Karagma at the end of the day, man. All right, but going, but going to Amos nine and eight, it says, "Behold, the eyes of the Lord, Yahabashim Alvashah, are upon the sinful kingdom." And, and you know, and that's twofold because when the scripture was written, it was talking about wicked ass Israelites right here. Okay, it's talking about Israel. All right, the wicked of Israel. But now, it's, it's still talking about wicked ass Israel. But wicked ass Israel, where at in Babylon? Where Israel in captivity at in Babylon, man? Up under who? Esau, the goddamn wicked man. All right. You know, the devil created his own wicked ass laws and decrees going back to Isaiah 10 and 1, man. Right. He write unrighteous decrees, man. All right. This damn devil, man. All right. You know, and it says, behold, the eyes of the Lord, Yahabashimah Shah, are upon the sinful kingdom, which is Babylon. All right. You know, allow two men to, to, to be married, two women to be married. At one time, allowed a woman to get abortion. Now, you know, you want to cut back a woman getting abortion. All right. You know what I'm saying? You know, so all, all, all you know, what I'm saying this right here, Babylon uh, to be destroyed by Yahweh Shemal soon to be destroyed. Let me say it correctly. Soon to be destroyed by Yahweh Shemal Rashad. We can't wait, man. All right. Because, you know, the men of the Lord, we cry for all the wicked abominations. And this is one of many, man. All right. You know what I'm saying? That be taking place, man. You know what I'm saying? These damn, like I said, these damn women done lost. They got their mind out here, bro. That's why, you know, you're seeing so much judgment. Y'all about your mouth bringing on these fucking women, man. And this is just the beginning of it right now, man. Just the fucking beginning. We ain't gonna feel sorry for these damn demons, you know, when y'all about your mouth shot bring that judgment to them, which is gonna be death, man. All right, by pain at the end of the damn day. And righteously so, man. All right, they deserve it at the end of the day, man. You can take a life. You know, you can take a goddamn baby life, an unborn baby life. Well, hell, guess what? Your life can be taken too. Your life gonna be taken by y'all about your mouth shot. You wicked, at, you wicked ass fucking women, man. All right. And it says, um, and I would destroy it off the face of the earth. Yeah. And that's, that's soon to be, man. And how you about you going to destroy it through nuclear missile, man. All right. Saving that I would not utterly destroy the house of Jacob. Save the Lord. You how about shimmy how was shot for low. Yeah. Because you how about you going to deliver the elect, man. Uh, the one third, man. And, and you know what I'm saying? The one third uh, consists of and uh, it, the one third begins with the body government. Of uh, of Yahweh Shemah starting with one hundred and forty four thousand and the multitude, man. All right, and, and going back to Amos nine and nine, for lo, I will command and I will sift the house of Israel among all nations, because you have the elect that scattered throughout the four corners, man. All right, but mainly the the large multitude is over here. The bulk of, of the elect is over here in Babylon, man. All right, it says like as the corn is sifted in in a sleeve, yet shall not the least grain fall upon the earth. So. 
You know what I'm saying? Yeah, how about Shim how with shy? You know what I'm saying? Like I said, if you of the elect, and you're gonna be delivered at the end of the day, man. All right. None is lost in your how about Shim with shy, which is the elect. None is lost in your how about Shim with shy, man. Uh verse uh 10. All the sinners of my people, which is two thirds of Israel, shall die by the sword, which say the evil shall not overtake nor prevent us, man. And when we be telling and you know, start with those apostles, great millstone to the elder bitches on down us, man. We'll be on them corners, on them highways and byways. You know what I'm saying, you know, um, and prophesying and giving that warning when we doing our daily videos every day. You know what I'm saying? Giving that warning to Israel. Jake don't want to heave. Jake don't want to hearken to the words. Jake still want to fulfill the uh the, the lust of their flesh, man. Desire of this fucking world, man. They still want to do what they want to do, want to commit adultery, want to be in the, the rainbow, want to believe in Egypt, uh, America, Babylon, want to believe in their goddamn fucking jobs. You know what I'm saying? You know, uh, want to get abortions, feel like they can do what they want to do with their own damn body and whatnot. So they're not, they're not taking heed, man. They're not hearkening to you. How about your mouth was shot? They want to eat what the fuck they want to eat. Celebrate these pagan holidays. You know what I'm saying? They want to, they, 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 they want to, they want to continue on the traditions of Babylon. At the end of the day, man, they don't want to hearken. They don't want to change. They don't want to, they don't want to repent and turn back to you. How about your mouth was shot? That's why they're gonna be destroyed, and, and they're not gonna listen to the prophets, man. They want to laugh at the prophets, misuse the prophets, all right? Because we're not uh, what they call uh uh, uh uh successful we don't look successful we're not successful in the eyes of these people we ain't got no status in the eyes of the people we they look at the men of the lord look at the prophets as nobodies at the end of the day they call us false prophets at the end of the day because they fucking wicked man all right you know what i'm saying you know they um you know jake hate correction they stiff nick like the scripture said man they stiff nick man they're holding their nicks at the end of the day you know what I'm saying? You know, they want to go after the, the feel the, the, the lust of their flesh, man. All right. Which is the desire of this goddamn world, man. All right. That's why um, Ezekiel, and which I'm going to, um, matter of fact, I'm going to end with that. Ezekiel 9 and 4. That's why this right is going to take place, man. All right. That's why it's going to take place, man. Very soon, man. And y'all about you, my shot, I'm going to have no freaking mercy, man. Once that grace period is over with, man, hey, man, it's a wrap, man, for you damn two thirds, man. It's a goddamn wrap, man. Uh, Ezekiel 9 and 4 And the Lord, Yahweh Shemal said unto him Go through the midst of the city Through the midst of Jerusalem And set a mark And that mark goes back to the word Tawad, man, Which means a uh, mark of exemption from judgment At the end of the day or whatnot man. The elect is going to be protected all right, th Throughout all the perils and, and, and the pestilence And the judgments Yahweh Shemal Shah about the brain man. The hour of temptation Yahweh Shemal Shah Shalop yeah, how about your Shah will be will protect the elect in that day and that time, man. Like, like he doing now, man. All right. Okay. So he's gonna make a way for the elect, man. But two thirds, hey man, they're gonna be taking in their inequity at the end of the day, man. All right. You know, they're not gonna be delivered. Yeah, how about your Shah is not gonna be a hedge of of protection for two thirds, man. All right, they're gonna be destroyed. They're gonna they're gonna die by the sword, man. All right, you know, and they got a, and most I got a million one ways to take their ass out, man. All right, ultimately, uh it's gonna be through the nuclear missiles, man. Okay. Um, and it says, you know, which is that lake of fire, the second death, which is fire, man. All right. But going back, uh, Ezekiel 9 and 4, and the Lord said unto him, go through the midst of the city, through the midst of Jerusalem, and set a mark upon the foreheads of the men, which is the elect men of Yahweh Shemawashah, of your so-called Negroes, so-called Latinos, so-called Native Americans, man, that sigh and that cry for all the abominations that be done in the midst thereof. And like I said, you know, um, going into the, you know, the title here, the listen here, the listen you know what I'm saying? Baby lives matter. Hey, th hey, hey, that's one of the many uh, abominations we cry out for, man, at the end of the day, man. You look at all these goddamn women getting upset, these women up there uh, 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 trying to protest, you know what I'm saying? Trying to protest, you know what I'm saying? The decision of the woe versus Wade, the overturn, you know what I'm saying? You know, so you, so the women showing you how wicked they are, man. They're really showing you. How about your mouth shot? Really showing you. You know what I'm saying? And really magnifying the wickedness of these goddamn fucking women. At, you know what I'm saying? At the end of the damn day, man. All right? It says that sigh and that cry for all abominations that be done in the midst thereof. And to the others, he said in my hearing, go ye after him through the city and smite. Let not your eyes spare, neither have ye pity. Yeah, man. So we don't have no pity for these two thirds because you how about your going to put his spirit upon the elect. So when we see two thirds getting their judgment, getting get, getting um, put to death at the end of the damn day, all right, you know, by judgment, you how about your mouth was shot? We ain't gonna cry, we ain't gonna shed no tears, we ain't gonna lose no damn sleep, man. 
All right, for for the wicked ass at the end of the fucking day, man. Okay, uh, verse six: slay utterly old and young. So the Most High is not going to discriminate, man. All right, it says both maids and little children and women. It says both maids, which is which young marriageable women of uh, marriageable age, and it says and little children and women, man. So I'm telling you, two thirds majority of it going to be you fucking women at the end of the day, man. Like I said, these women is all all kind of wicked, man. All right, you know. They, 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 they with the society, man. You know, Eve, like I said, you know, like those apostles say, man. You know what I'm saying? Down to us, man. You know what I'm saying? Eve, man, she the tag team partner. You know what I'm saying? Of Esau, man. You know? <laughs> like bros uh, use the, um, the, um, the little slogan, man. Um, Malone and um, Stockton. <laughs> you know? But it says, but come not near any man upon whom is the mark. All right? And you know what I'm saying? We already went in that word mark, which is twab, which means, uh, you know what I'm saying? Um... Exemption from judgment from Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah, man. All right. It's not the same mark going back to Revelation 13 and 16, uh, Karagma, man, which means an indecision or a graving. All right. You know what I'm saying? Um, it, it says, then they begin at the ancient men, which were before the house, man. Yeah, man. The, the damn Jakes that, that, you know, was in his knowledge, was in the truth, that done fall back out and, and went back out into the world. Hey, the most high forgot about you. All right. What's I going to, hey, man, the most high. You gonna have judge y'all y'all niggas gonna get put to death, man, the worst fucking way, man, at the end of the day, man. All right. But uh with that, man, you know what I'm saying? You know, uh that's the end of my lesson. And I pray and I hope that that was edifying. And with that, I wanna say shalom, shalom to the hopeful elect. And a few sisters that be listening, man. Shalom, shalom.